Hi, this is Phil Shapiro. I have installed this new operating system, Gallima OS, on my Dell Chromebook 11, and I totally love it. This operating system is optimized for Chromebooks. It's really fast. It's pretty. I love the logo. Check out the logo over here. I love this logo for Gallium OS, and um, it works on Chromebooks from the last like two years, from about 2013 onwards. Uh, if you click here, download beta, they show you the compatibility list of which Chromebooks it works on. It does work on the very popular Acer C720, and it works on my Dell Chromebook 11, which is sweet. So I'm here recording this using Simple Screen Recorder. This software over here, I'm going to minimize it right now. Good. And I have a Logitech webcam. I'm using GUVC View, GUVC View. That lets me monitor. It's like gives, it makes my like Chromebook into uh, the, the um, sort of like ScreenFlow on the Mac or Camtasia Studio on Windows. But this is all free. The software over here on Linux is all free, which is really sweet. So one of the ways that I keep track of Gallium OS, I go over here to Twitter and I do a search, and um, I tweeted about this just yesterday. I'm loving Gallium OS. It's so responsive and visually attractive. I sent them a $100 donation, and that's true. I sent them a PayPal donation. The people who are making Gallium OS have put in a lot of work, and it shows. It's a really nice product, and they give it away for free. Um, I found a really interesting tour of Gallium OS from this the Linux help guy in England, he does a really nice search, uh, nice tour over here. Search for it, Gallium OS Linux for your Chromebook. He spells it without the uh, space here. That's good. And he does a 13-minute tour. It's really excellent. I recommend it. Um, over here, uh, Jack on Linux.com, Jack Wallen has written a really rave review of the ideal Linux distribution for Chromebook hardware. So come and read uh, Jack's really good article right here on Linux.com. You can look that up. Uh, over here, I always like to visit opensource.com. Uh, and oh, here's something new uh, from Don Watkins. He's, he's a new blog post. He's one of their prolific bloggers. By the way, their website is getting close to a million views per month. It's a good place to stop by to visit. Is, uh, and it, they're always looking for writers. If you have something to submit, they're very encouraging, I've found. Uh, this is jo Don's new article. I'd, I'd like to read it right now, but I'll have to come back and read it. So he's talking about Seth Godin's book, Poke the Box. Start something new. I've never thought of doing that, so um, maybe I should give that a try. Um, and here is that hardware compatibility list. I set it up in the tab. Let's take a look down here. We have a little start button. Like um, It comes with the Chromium browser, but I installed Chrome too. I also installed uh, Google Chrome. Uh, I installed under graphics, I installed Blender. Let's take a peek. Ooh, here comes Blender. Blender 2.72. And um, Blender's actually taught to some teenagers. Go to opensource.com and read some really uh, interesting blog posts. They, um, it does have a bit of a steep learning curve, but you can do really many interesting things with Blender, with 3D drawing, 3D animation, and even 2D animation. It's all possible. So there's Blender looking really nice on Gallium OS. Um, what else did I install? I installed, it came with Abbey Word, the very lightweight word processor, and then um, I installed LibreOffice. I love LibreOffice 5, and it works really well. Check it out here at LibreOffice. Boots up in like less than two seconds. And I've got everything I want right here. I love the spreadsheet and the drawing program. So those are my favorite parts. Uh, I use a presentation sometimes, but sometimes I just use Google Docs. And then for presentation. Uh, under multimedia, of course, I installed Audacity, the sound recorder and editor. Uh, I scored I installed Simple Screen Recorder and the GUVC GUVC View, which is the that lets me monitor right here the video that I'm recording right now. And uh, let's take a peek at some video just to see 
how this, you can see it's really responsive. Oh, if I come down here, uh, here's my file manager, the first thing over from the start button. And look, it looks very similar to like a Mac or Windows. We have a videos folder, downloads folder, a documents folder. And let's go over here to video. I found a really nice video on YouTube that was shot in 4K, uh, very high resolution. And let's take a look over here just to see how it looks on um, Gallium OS. Wow, this is looking pretty nice. This is a day at the zoo in Ashboro, North Carolina. So I downloaded this off YouTube. Look at the detail here. Isn't that amazing? And uh, right now I'm in Video Land, software from really smart people over in France. And um, look at this. Isn't this pretty? Zoom, original size. Look, look at there. There's a zebra. And I love seeing that. Uh, how about if we go to um, zoom half size? Bring this over, then you get to see me again. Not that you really want to. But anyway, over here, uh, look at that, zebras. And then down here, we've got some elephants right about there. There's gazelles. Um, yep. Uh, look at that ostrich. There's an elephant. So you can see um, Videoland is playing back this really high resolution video gorgeously on my Chromebook. And of course, Chromebooks are used mostly for testing. But anyway, for me, this Chromebook is almost like a MacBook Air at about one third the price. Because now that I have Gallium OS, I can install whatever Linux programs I want. And um, oh, look at that detail. Makes you feel like you're right there. So what else to show and explain? Oh, one thing that I found that was a little confusing, um, when I came over here to adjust the audio on my on this Chromebook, uh, I came over here to System, and then I went to Settings, and I couldn't find the sound or volume. And it turns out the sound and volume was sitting over here in the multimedia folder. Pulse Audio Volume Control is right here. And so this is Pulse Audio Volume Control. Uh, input. There you go. It shows shows my level, voice level. Um, so that was sitting in the multimedia folder, and I sort of was expecting it in the settings. Uh, but that's good. I just want to pass that note on to you. Oh, let's let's look at what else is under graphics. Here's Inkscape. Ooh, Inkscape. I love Inkscape. Here it comes. Let's switch off the page over here, document properties. Let's switch off the page border. I like to do that. And let's make some calligraphy. Whoa, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that neat? And then I'm going to come over here and write a little message to the people who made Gallium OS. Gallium OS rocks. I'm sending you $100. Thanks. And I actually did. I sent them a PayPal yesterday. And look, there's no pixelation on this. Uh, um, let's choose a different color palette down here. How about um, the default? Um, Ubuntu color palette, Inkscape default, right there. So now we could choose maybe that blue or a purple, or whatever. So there's Inkscape. I love Inkscape. Close without saving. Uh, what else to show you? What else to show you? Oh, there's the elephant just waiting for us. Um, of course, you have the terminal emulator. Uh, I like to install software from the terminal emulator. But you have Synaptics Package Manager. Under Systems, you have Synaptics Package Manager. Um, and this is all based on uh, Zubuntu, uh, Ubuntu with the X in front of it, Zubuntu. So uh, I give it two thumbs up, Gallium OS. This is my first impressions. And I'm going to be using this, perhaps just this, this might be my main computer, this little Chromebook with Gallium OS. I'm having such a good time using it. Over and out, this is Phil Shapiro. So now I come down to Simple Screen Recorder, and I click um, Save Recording.